Is there a difference between the pay for a curve model for a campaign versus a straight fit? Straight, what is it called? Straight model. Straight, straight model. I don't know. A <laughs> straight traditional model. We'll traditional. A traditional yeah, model. Yeah. yeah. Is there a difference in pay? Do you like what's kind of, I mean, that'd be weird if there was, but what is the pay look like in, in the difference, I guess, between the models? I don't think technically there is a pay difference or there shouldn't be a pay difference, um, but it is hard because in this industry, there's not a lot of pay transparency. Mm. People, you know, you can't look it up on Glassdoor. People don't really talk about it. Um, even sometimes clients will say, please don't discuss this rate with other models if they are giving different rates. For me personally, I make more as a curve model. That's just because I work a lot more. Mm. When I was size zero, size two, if I booked one job a month, I was so excited. If I made, you know, a thousand dollars a month, I was like, this is awesome. Cause I was used to making $12 an hour at a preschool. Mm. So this was like the best thing ever. And so now I work a lot more. I have friends that work one day a month two days a month, they make five to $10,000 and they only have to do that job. But if they don't book a job that month, it's scary. I book less high paying jobs because I do more e-commerce, more bread and butter, but I work multiple times a week. Sometimes between castings and fit jobs, it's multiple a day. Mm. Um, then sometimes there'll be a week where I don't have anything and it's just a off week. So with that said, I think I work more, therefore I make more, but I don't believe there's a difference in the hourly pay. And if there is, we should talk about it. We should talk about it. <laughs>